Frontier Cavern sub-level 3. Hmm. I always like to try to make predictions about what's going to be on this floor, and my first thought is bull bears. Oh, I can hear the bull bear mother. Oh, I can hear her. Uh, kill these quick, kill these quick. Where's the bull? Okay, there's a bullman. This is one of the things that is supposed to be introduced in this cave, but is not. There is a bullman mother. This is supposed to be her first introduction, but instead, our first introduction was in the submerged castle. We also have a white candy pot bud or ivory candy pot bud. All right, so I, I think the bull bear mother is over there because, yeah, yeah, she's calling them through a wall. It looks like there's a big room over there. So let's let's go the opposite direction. We will eventually have to face the bull bear mother, but I don't want to do that yet. I'll just keep tabs on her and and keep my ears open. Uh, what do I want to sacrifice here? Red Pikmin. Let's actually no. Let's sacrifice blue Pikmin. The the water hazards usually don't require that many blue Pikmin to. There she is. That many blue Pikmin to. Uh, uh that many blue Pikmin to traverse. Okay, here she is. She doesn't have her posse with her. Uh, purples. I need purple. Oh, she does have her posse with her. Oh, oh, kill her. Swarm, swarm them, swarm the children, swarm the children. Oh. oh, I did not see what was happening there. So I wasn't sure if they were eating her or eating my Pikmin. But that was, that was a bull bear. That was a bull bear. And it had a bell on it. Danger Chime. That is an apt name for what, what was carrying it. Oh, there's another one. Die. Die, I killed your mother, now I'll kill you. Pikmin is a very harsh game, I just realized. All right, let's get some nectar. And move on. I'm I'm kind of glad I didn't ultra bitter spray the mother in that scenario. Because one of the things that ultra bitter spray does is it raises the defense of the the enemy. I don't know. I I guess I I know why. It's it's so that you can't just easily ultra bitter spray lock an enemy but still a lot of times using bitter spray is a bad idea because it raises their defense so much that the only thing it does is buy time for you to escape or get into a better position it's a candlestick yeah a candlestick fleeting art form as someone who used to make candles i can definitely agree with that all right, they wouldn't sick another another a, uh, a bull bear on us, so I think we're relatively safe for the rest of the floor. So I'll grab these white Pikmin and see what was in that giant room that we initially saw the bull bear mother in. What is what is here? There's another treasure somewhere. I'm guessing it's buried someplace. Uh, let's hasten this process. I'm guessing it's buried in this open area. Okay, they knocked that out. They're also offering us a geyser, kindly. It's right... Here? Where is it? It's here? Not here. Where? There it is! There it is. I'm guessing this is another gem? What is it? It's a ring! Alright. So there's a ring, and once that's back, we can enter the next floor. We're not- we're knocking this out like, uh, like, a, a, a progress, I guess. It's going very smoothly. We haven't lost a single Pikmin, and I guess it's probably because I, the- the Wistful Wild Caves have- have definitely improved my playstyle. I'm playing a lot more cautiously. I'm being more aware of my environment, of what's around me, and how to use the the landmarks or environment, I guess, to my benefit. And it's it's working out rather well.
sub-level 4. You know, this is a reskin, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is a reskin floor, which I think this is the first... Really? Really? There's just a marble sitting right here? I think this is the first time we've seen a reskinned floor. This is, um... The first time we saw this layout was in... The Submerged Castle, I believe. Omniscient Sphere. And there's our end slate. Yeah, the first time we saw this layout was in... The, uh, the Submerged Castle. Hey, buddy! No, don't you dare! Don't you dare, Red Pikmin. Whew! Tom almost ate, uh, ate the electric chair. Kill him. Nice. All right, let's kill this guy before he reaches his his friend through e harmony. We don't want that. We don't want e harmony. We don't want we don't want relationships in video games. We just want action. Oh, hello. Oh. And he's down. Let's kill this guy too before he has a chance to reach someone through the internet. No internet for you. <laughs> no video games for a week. Bobby. Okay, where am I going? I always like taking the back pads, but I'm also I've also been in the mood to just kind of storm the castle, so let's let's do that. Is it just antenna beetles? I think it is. Or anode beetles, I guess. Wait, these aren't anode beetles, are they? They're Whoa! That is new! That is new! <laughs> Also, you can mash out of that, I forgot. That is, that is a, not necessarily a new trap, but it's new that he just attacked me immediately. Woo! That was, that was scary. That was scary. I, I guess I, I also prefer that trap over anything else. It's better than the, uh, the old nectar bomb rock traps that, that are all too common. Uh, this is, you know, I'm gonna lure this guy over here. Come on, eat these juicy Pikmin! Or not. That, that works too. Innocent... Why? What are with some of these names? It's a Christmas star. Why is it Innocent Lost? That makes no sense. He's hitting that. One thing I... I I think is amazing game design um, for oh, come on one thing that I think is amazing game design is that they um, whenever there's a cutscene right if you get a treasure they don't just recontinue the game after the cutscenes over what they'll do is they'll set you back to a neutral state so if you had a Pikmin in your hands then you no longer have a Pikmin in your hands so there's no chance of you um, and exiting the cutscene and then accidentally throwing the Pikmin into death. So that's really cool. But I think they also reset your Pikmin into neutral positions. And they might also... I'm not sure if they interrupt enemy um, attack animations, but they might. Okay, let's kill the E-Harmony e bugs. No, kill him too. There. Nice. You too? Sorry, buddy. And you third donut arc through the wall. <laughs> no one likes donut arcs in the wall. Donut arcs are not cool. Oh, why are you? Why are you magneting? They're magneting onto him through a wall. That's something that's a bit. Uh, the wall mechanics in Pikmin 2 are a bit janky. I'll be the first to say. Pikmin will magnet through walls. Enemies magnet through walls. And for so for how polished this game tends to be. It's it's kind of weird that they do that. All right, actually, let's let's just leave. There's no reason for me to be here. Why am I why am I tarrying? All right, into the next floor. Is this a rest floor? Usually, this floor has mammutas and creeping chrysanthemums on it, and I. Okay, Mamudas are are a given. Any creeping chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. No, just Mamudas. Not bad, okay. 
I'm going to leave the Mamudas alone for now. Convert some red Pikmin into purples, and then I'll use the Mamudas to flower them. That sounds like a solid plan. Now, Mamudas are kind of a strange enemy, not only because they don't really want to harm Pikmin, they're just trying to pound them into the ground. They're almost gardeners. They're basically gardeners. In fact, next episode, or um, when we leave this area, I should probably read the Mamudo's bios, just to see what they're, what they're interested in, what they're motivated by. But, they're also interesting because they give, they give birth to the most, or one of the most, if not the most, dangerous enemy in the game, or in the series. The Smoky Prog, similar to the Water Wraith, in that it's, there's a lot of mystery surrounding it, but different in its... It actually may even be in the same family, I don't know. But there is a... if The larva of Mamudas, which we've never seen the larva of them, um, mutates, then it will become the Smoky Prog. And the Smoky Prog will insta-kill uh, Pikmin upon its... upon touching them. So basically it just has death touch. And it's a really difficult enemy to defeat. And it's only in Pikmin 1. Also, that's... I forgot about that interaction. The Spectralids will land on the, uh, on the Mamudas. That's really cool. Okay, let's kill this guy just because he's in our way. And do I have any... Oh, I, oh, I definitely have Pikmin that need flower. Hey, could you do this for me, please? Just don't hit me. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with you doing this. Thank you. I'm not attacking you yet. In fact, I don't even... Do I need to attack this guy? Get them. Don't hit the president, please. One more time. One more time. Don't hit the president. Nice. Thank you. Uh, actually, hit these guys, too. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. He doesn't have a treasure in him, so... I'm perfectly content just to take these Pikmin and walk away. All right. Where is the treasure on this floor, though? Is it new? No. Is it new? Oh, it's in you. Hello. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. It's a shame it had to be like that. All right. Whoa. What? Oh, yeah! I forgot about that! I, I was wondering, but... I, there was no cutscene. Processing, how strange! This atypical, atypical metal object came from inside that bizarre being! It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of, of art? I totally forgot about this. This! I believe these are called the Brute Knuckles. And again, I don't need to kill the Mamudas. But it upgrades. It's one of the upgrades. One of the... Are you guys really... Good? Please don't lock these Pikmin in. Thank you. It is one of the few upgrades that can be found outside of... Or, yeah, I guess outside of a boss. The Brute Knuckles upgrades our punch. This object seems to replicate a humanoid fist. A glove much like it... A uh, glove much like it once lay in my junk hold. And here's that very glove. I have just found the missing rocket punch. So, wait. Does that mean this is the thing that he lost? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what he's saying. Tap A three times to launch it. One, two, punch! Also, is this the first time we're seeing the water dweevils? Which are called caustic dweevils? I think it is. Uh, let's, let's show off their attack because Nintendo's water physics have always been good. In every game they've ever made. Okay, don't kill him. That's pretty. Okay. Now we can kill you. Now we can kill you, I said. Now we can kill you. There. <laughs> the purples had to do it. Alright, so let's show off this attack real quick. Let's dismiss my Pikmin. So, by pressing A three times... Please don't. Please... <sighs> please don't. Okay. By pressing A three times... We can do a very long-ranged attack. 
really long ranged. Let's see, can it hit him? Yeah, it can hit him from here. Falcon Punch! Oh yeah, you do it. And it actually, it does a lot of damage, but it does more damage when you have a bunch, when you have a, another party member. Uh, the, the other party member cannot, or the non-active party member, I don't believe, can do this attack. But he can assist you in the punching. And it makes, it makes killing enemies with captains very viable. Alright, but I, I did say that I was not going to kill that guy, so let's pluck our Pikmin from the ground. And... Go down a floor. Ooh. I saw water. Ooh, this is also a track that's barely used. Here, let's let's use our new attack here. Here we go, President. Help me! One, two, punch! Whoa, I haven't I don't remember that animation. Come on, hit him. Oh no 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 this is bad. <laughs> okay, that, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Uh I think the president is one to two hits from death, so. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that, at least not on... I think it works best on bigger enemies, so I'll probably be using that on Bulborbs, on um, maybe even that guy. Enemies that, whose attacks are really bad in close range. Okay, let's throw our yellow over there and go kill this guy. Um, there are Bul There's a Bulbman Mother... I don't need her. Actually, here. Let's... Have I even shown this off? Don't hit your own boulder. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was so cool. Uh, let's... Let's do that again. Actually, that... That's usually how I would defeat these guys as, as a child. Here. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, I actually have a Pikmin with me. That's that's fine, I guess. Yeah, hit him. Oh, come on. Boulder. Boulder. Really, Boulder? Oh, I guess that works. Here, let me... Let me do this the right way. Boulder this way. Turn around. Come up this hill. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, there's a queen. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to beat this guy the the hard way. And ready, set. Remembering I have ultra bitter sprays. Remembering I have ultra bitter sprays in case I get into trouble. He's dead. He's dead. All right. There's also a Bullman mother, which I I do not want to kill with with uh, Pikmin. She's really difficult. So one thing I've noticed about the Bulbman Mother, I'm not sure if it's a modeling error or if it's intentional, but no, look at her cheeks. Turn around. You see her cheeks, how they're kind of sunken in? I always found that kind of intriguing and almost indicative of, of how she's being possessed by a Pikmin parasite. Just look at her cheeks. They're sunken in. You, you can't you can't make that up. That's that's clearly what what it is. All right, let's. I need to kill this guy. Let's let's use this. Use the boulder against these guys. Okay. Kill him. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. And. Kill him, I want... Uh, not a spray, okay. That's that's fine. I, I've been kind of liberal with my sprays recently, but I still have more Ultra Bitter Sprays than when I entered this cave, so I think it's... I think it's excusable. Okay, is there treasure there? No. Is there buried treasure in this alcove? No. 
Is there any need for white Pikmin? Nothing there. Okay, I think I'm fine. Let's... Let's whistle these Pikmin. Have them kill this... No, or not. Or not. Or not. Come on, Pikmin. You're better than this. Uh, okay, I don't even... I actually don't even need the queen. Let's just carry this out and have the president come in with some backup. Specifically white Pikmin to carry things ultra fast. Make sure no one gets in the water. I'm looking at you, purples. And let's pick up this queen. I think that's the last treasure. Unless... Uh, I just realized that's probably the case, too. Is there... Is there a buried treasure? There's not. Huh. Okay. That's, that's fine. I, I'll take that. This cave is also strangely laid out. What is... What was that? What was that garbage? What was that garbage, Pikmin? They're just trying... At this point, they're just trying to... To make me as frustrated as possible. It's at the end of the game, so they're trying to make me... They're trying to spoil the mood of this game. Priceless statue. If the queen is called... Oh, the, the king's gonna be called worthless. Oh, he is. Oh, please. Please say yes. That'd be so good. Please do it. Yep, it is! <laughs> worthless statue, because it's a king, and he can only move one space at a time. Did I take that fire geyser out? Okay, apparently I did take the fire geyser out. Otherwise, I was going to praise the chance that, or praise the luck that I didn't lose Pikmin to that. All right, next floor. Oh, I boo, he's right there. But it looks like he can't figure out how to get around. Yes. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh boy. There's so many who uh, didn't see him. There's so many. Look how many babies there are. Look how many babies there are. What is that? That's insane. 